Hello guys, this is Ravens from Digi Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 130. WhatsApp on Friday told the Delhi High Court it would not limit the functionality of its messaging app in case a user does not contest to its latest privacy policy and will maintain the approach at least till the forthcoming date protection bill comes into effect. The center had earlier told WhatsApp to withdraw its policies. The new WhatsApp image tool was spotted on WhatsApp beta for Android 2.21.14.16. It is still under development and the stable rollout could take months. Recently, WhatsApp has seen working on a similar feature where users could compress video quality as well. Oppo and Nokia signed a multi-year licensing agreement back in 2018 and it seems that the contract is over now. Nokia put out an official statement that Oppo has rejected the offer of renewing the contract so it had to take the legal action since Oppo continued to use their patents. The spokesperson for Nokia believes that there is still a more constructive way to deal with this situation. Nokia after all has quite a lot of patents up its sleeve and has signed loyal bearing agreements with Samsung, Apple, LG, Lenovo and even Blackberry. Asus has finally launched the XG Mobile external GPU model for its critically accompanied ROG Flow X13 gaming laptop in India. While the laptop has already been on sale in India for a while, the XG Mobile eGPU finally adds two of the best GPUs available in the market right now back when it was introduced. The Asus ROG Flow X13 was marked as a super portable and easy to use gaming laptop without the bulk of one and feature a 5000 series AMD Ryzen 9 processor inside. Asus has now enabled the ability of ROG Flow X13 owners to also add the power of RTX 3070 or RTX 3080 GPUs to the laptop. Hisense 70S, 71F and Hisense 65S, 73F TVs have been launched in India with prices starting from Rs 71,990. Key specifications include an LCD panel with 4K resolution, HDR10 and Dolby Vision support and 102W 6 speaker setup from JBL and Android TV 9.0 OS. Hisense is offering a 4-year warranty for free with these TVs. Antutu has just released its June 2021 list for the best performing flagship Android smartphones. In the list, the Nubia Red Magic 6 takes the throne, outperforming the likes of ROG Phone 5, IQ7 and others. As per the Antutu ranking, the Red Magic 6 leads a flagship smartphone. It scored about 842,168 points in the Antutu benchmark. This marks a 20,000 points laid over the Realme GT that was a leading flagship device for a month prior. Under the wood, the Red Magic 6 sports a Qualcomm Snapdragon triplet paid with 16GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage alongside a 165Hz high refresh rate panel on the front. LG plans to sell iPhones at its best shop locations have put on hold after a public outcry from small and medium-sized businesses. The South Korean government has a policy that is meant to shield smaller retailers by keeping giants like Samsung and LG from selling competing products at the stores they own. The worry is that if they do these larger retail locations will draw customers away from the smaller ones and those are already quite vulnerable due to the pandemic. Samsung was not a fan of this plan either and it feared that the expanded availability of iPhones will threaten its domestic market share of 5G phones. LG has over 400 best shops around the country. Motorola is expected to launch a new series of smartphones in the market. Motorola H20 Pro and Motorola H20 were spotted on TINA certification. It was previously reported that Motorola is set to launch the Moto H20 series which consists of four smartphones in July. Xiaomi could be working on a new flip phone. The phone has an horizontal module on the back that houses a two large camera sensors and probably a secondary screen. The design is similar to the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. The Realme X7 Max 5G is receiving a new software update with the dynamic RAM expansion feature, which was introduced by Realme on the Narzo 30 5G first. As evident from the name, the DRE lets you expand your smartphone RAM virtually by using its internal storage. On the Narzo 30 5G, you can head to the settings about phone, RAM menu and add up to 2GB, 3GB or 5GB of RAM virtually to the smartphone. But since we have not received the new build on our unit yet, we cannot confirm how much RAM the X7 Max 5G users will be able to add virtually with the latest update. Realme will enter the Android tablet market soon and we have already seen some official teaser of the upcoming Realme Pad last month. Now we have some unofficial leaked images of what appears to be the device in hand out in the wild. Samsung Galaxy M52 5G will come with a 5000mAh battery according to new certification listing. That's a much smaller cell than a 7000mAh battery to the Galaxy M51. The phone is expected to be powered by the Snapdragon 778G chipset and get a quad camera rear setup. 
PUBG Mobile has announced a collaboration with Elon Musk Tesla as a part of which the game would host a number of Tesla cars as well as a Tesla Giga factory. According to the reports, the new Tesla feature will come as a part of PUBG Mobile 1.5 Ignition update, and it is not clear if the update would reflect to the game's India's version, Battlegrounds Mobile India, as well. The update will bring the Tesla cars and the battery factory to the Arangal map, which is the oldest and by far most well-known map on the game. After a longer than expected waiting period, Crafton finally released Battlegrounds Mobile India earlier this month. PUBG Mobile Alternative was released for Android smartphone users on July 2 in India. Players can download the game from the Google Play Store. Crafton is yet to release the Battlegrounds Mobile India iOS application for iPhone users. The company is expected to make an announcement on the same very soon. Meanwhile, Android smartphone users who play Battlegrounds Mobile India can gear up for the new season that is coming soon. The developers have shared some key details on the upcoming Battlegrounds Mobile India Season 20. The lead up to EA Play Live on July 22nd will include a couple of presentations from the publishers, one of which concluded last night and featured Battlefield 2042, easily one of the most highly anticipated game of the year. The first person shooter franchise returned to the modern setting, albeit in a near futuristic environment. EA's future of FPS live stream detailed future projects that its studios are working with Ripple FX Studios set to work on a particular component of Battlefield 2042. The mode will bring some several fan favorite maps from the series passed to Battlefield 2042 which has gone down very well with the community. Console games for the most part have been the safe haven for gamers to play online competitively without the risk of cheaters hovering about in the servers and lobbies. Yet for as long as online multiplayers have existed, cheating has always been a major part of it. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.